Hello and welcome everybody. It is Mary Shores here coming to you live from my page because today I am feeling this like need from the inside out to come to you and talk about empowerment. You know how sometimes there's these buzzwords and empowerment has become this buzzword. Like before it was abundance and prior to that it was alignment. And sometimes I love these buzzwords because they have like this power. You know, when you hear the word empowerment, it has the word power right in the word. But how often do we take time to give a definition to the word and not only say what it means, but also talk about how can we use this in our daily lives. So empowerment has been on my mind as of late. And I want to talk about empowerment in terms of manifestation. So empowerment is really important. And what it means, it's when you're empowered, you understand inside, outside, backwards and forwards, exactly what you need to do. It's like you have this inner power, this inner knowing that when you focus on it, it's going to it's going to guide you and lead you to where it is you're going. And another thing that I want to say about empowerment is that um, anything that you manifest from a place of empowerment is going to manifest stronger, faster, better, longer lasting, and most importantly, it's going to have a deeper impact. And it's that impact that I think really makes the difference. And so if we talk about the opposite of that, if we talk about disempowerment for, for a moment, disempowerment is a confused state of being. It's that state of being that feels like you're just swirling in the chaos and uncertainty of everything that you don't want. It can feel very overwhelming at times. And when whatever you create, from this place of disempowerment, whatever you manifest from that place of disempowerment is going to be chaotic, it's going to be stressful, it's going to be weak, it's like you're struggling to walk through the mud to, to get what you want, and it's also hard, like you're, like you're, you know, I used to talk about it as if I was walking down a flight of stairs and people were kicking the stairs out from under me. That's a that's a really great example of being in a disempowered state of being. So I was thinking about this and it's like, well, how can we go from a disempowered state of being to an empowered state of being? And I think that um, the easiest way to do this is to pay attention and have some awareness about the way that we are taking care of ourselves. So if you are feeling in this moment, if you are feeling like you are in a place of disempowerment, it's okay. The thing is, don't try to create anything. Don't try to manifest everything, anything right now. Wait until you feel that spark of empowerment and then take action. So if you're feeling the disempowerment, this is the time to um, take care of yourself. So yesterday, yesterday I was feeling completely disempowered. I had something happen in the morning with my kids and a doctor's appointment. It was something very insignificant, but immediately it put me at a, in a panic at about... Um, nine o'clock in the morning. And so I realized I was in this very disempowered state. And so I decided to really take it easy for, for the day. And then today, boom, I woke up. I felt completely the opposite. I felt energetic. I felt like I could tackle the world. And, and today things are happening great. So today is the day for me to kick in with that empowerment, to know on the inside, that inside, outside, backwards and forwards, I know exactly what I want to do. And today is the day that I can manifest from a place of empowerment and know that whatever I create today is going to show up stronger, faster, better, longer lasting, and have a greater impact in the world. And I want to say that that's very true because already I was on an episode of Tough Love with my friend Robert Kendall and Kendall. And you know what? It was a really amazing episode. I shared some stories that I've never shared before. I felt like I did a great job connecting with his audience. And that's the kind of momentum that when you create something from this place of empowerment, it's like the momentum carries you through to the next thing. So, all right, massive love to you all. Let me know if you have any questions. I am happy, happy, happy to answer them. All right, bye-bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.